Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic VDC. I'm a programmer for Victolic Tools for Revit. I wanted to talk to you today about a new tool for Victolic Tools called the Tap Creator. This is a tool that will help you to place taps into place branches off of pipe without having to create section views, without having to have specific pipe types for every single tap that you'd like to place. So let me show you what this means. It's a selection based tool, so if I were to grab this vertical piece of pipe right here on the left hand side of my chiller and hit Tap Creator, you see it's located under the Pipe Tools menu. Right here at the top is a section for templates, and these templates are user generated, so we'll give you a couple examples in Victolic Tools, but it's meant for you to build your own library of typical tap setup. So we'll build one from scratch now. If I hit the Tap family and I'll select a 923, uh, maybe I'll do a one inch outlet. Uh, pipe length is, will be the length of the pipe that it will place as the branch. The distance will be the distance from the end of the pipe where it places it. And I'll hit this position down. Uh, in most scenarios, uh, down will point at you, but there are some adjustments we can do over here under pipe rotation if it doesn't point at you. Um, I'll leave that where it is and I'll click add. And you see this 923 just appeared two feet from the bottom of the pipe with a one foot piece of pipe uh, with 180 degrees rotation. So if I wanted to add more of these, uh, I can change my distance mode from end, I'll change it to from previous, meaning that it'll add this two feet of distance to the two feet that is down here, and I can quickly add two more. And there they are. Now, if we want to make some adjustments on them, maybe the distance was wrong. Maybe this should be one foot six. Uh, maybe this one should be three foot and this one should be five foot. Um, you can even change the rotations here. Change that one to 90 degrees. Uh, the length of the pipe can also be changed. The uh, size can also be changed. I'll do a two inch outlet here. I hit refresh. And there we go. Now this is a could be a typical setup that you do multiple times a day. So here's what you would do in that situation. You can give it a name and go typical vertical taps. And under actions, you can save it as a template. Now this can be recalled maybe on this one over here. I'll say Open the tap creator and you can see the preview already where it created these three taps already on this vertical. Okay, so this is a tool that can not only be run on a single piece of pipe, you can run it on multiple pieces as well. So if I were to run it on these two right here, and we may not get the taps at the top because these particular pieces of pipe are a little bit shorter, but you can run it on as many pieces of pipe as you have selected. So open up the tap creator and the taps that are in my table here, it just did the first two because it ran out of pipe for the third one, uh, automatically get placed on these two all at the same time. Now there are other ways to use the tap creator. Uh, let's say that the, we had no taps on our system at all. Let's go back to there but we had a system that we've done previously that has taps. Let's say this is our typical tap situation. See, this one's, this one's pretty crazy, but I'll use a simple one here. I can open the tap creator on a piece of pipe that already has taps. If I clear out the table and refresh, there we go. There's an option here at the top to read the taps from the selection. So it just read these two tap information from this vertical piece of pipe here. Now I don't want to click OK in this situation because I want to keep the records in the database, but I don't want to apply them to this pipe again. It already has taps on it. I'll hit cancel there and if I go to the other piece of pipe right here and run the tap creator, it remembers what was there before. Now if you remember I have a pipe rotation set up on this one, I'll set that back to zero. And now we've been able to copy the taps from one piece of pipe to another. But it's not really a copy because it's a database driven software. We were able to collect information about it and then we were able to apply that information to a new piece of pipe. 
And we can also use the tap creator to do larger diameter solutions. So let's say I had a header, and I'll do a 10 inch header, 17 feet is plenty. And I'll push this off to the side so we can see the work it's doing. If I click on it once, and hit the tap creator, I'll clear out anything that's in there, because we're gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna select a tap family. We have one called a shape nipple not required, which uh, makes a really good branch outlet. I'll make that face down and I'll add it. So you see it pop up here on the right hand side and I'll do the same trick I did before. I'll flick this over to from previous. So it'll add two feet to the previous distance. And let's say I had to do three of these. I'll do four, why not? Now I could stop there. If we were connecting into pumps uh, from this header, then I could use the Revit Align command and line right up to the drops and connect in from there. Uh, but again, you can edit the table at the bottom here if you had a, a really odd setup that you knew would take a long time to do. Uh, this can be utilized for that as well. Not that you're ever gonna create a header that has a, uh, a spiral pattern like this, uh, but it's definitely possible so that's the tap creator, a really fast database driven way to create taps, to copy taps, and to uh, apply them to your model uh, without having to use section views and without having to use custom pipe types. So thank you for watching.